you need to know how to get the API resource details from a kubectl commands. kubectl API resources command will uh, give you the name, short names, API version, namespace D and the kind. If you enter minus or white flag, additionally, you can get the list of verbs as well supported by these API resources. If you want to uh, get the output sorted with the name or else if you want to get only the namespace bounded components or else if you want to get API resources only for an API group, even you can do it by putting additional flags into the command. There's another command called kubectl api versions that will give you the uh, list of APIs with its version. That's the one way to get that details. Additionally, you can go into the Kubernetes documentation, search for Kubernetes API reference. You can go into that document and find out more details about these different APIs. If you look at here, you can see when it comes to a pod, pod is belongs into core APIs. Core APIs are usually starting with API. Uh, slash v1 and then there are named apis as well you can find out all of these details here in this documentation you, rather than using kubectl you can make all of the configurations using the kubernetes api as well you can access the kubernetes api if you already have the kube config configured kubectl proxy command you can proxy it into localhost if you enter curl http proxy url you can find out the list of apis available some of them are core api named api uh, health related api and then there are many more further if you specifically want to find out when i want to get the list of pods what is the api which is getting invoked you can find out that details by invoking kubectl get pods and enable the verbose mod using minus v equals and then you can provide the verbose level if you put the verbose level six or above you can find out in the log what is the actual api which is getting invoked while you are uh, making this particular kubectl uh, execution